With the customary system of conversion or on units, we have to use conversion factors. In this case, we can see some of the units in length, capacity, and weight. So for length, we have inches, foot, or feet in plural, yard, mile, capacity, teaspoon, tablespoon, cup, pint, quart, gallon, weight, ounce, pound, and tons. Here we have some equivalents or conversion factors. One foot is 12 inches, one yard, three feet, or 36 inches. One mile, 5,280 feet. And one mile is also 1,760 yards. And on this side, we can see that these conversion factors for capacity are related to this chart we can see here. So the big drawing is a gallon. Each gallon has one quart, which are the pink ones. So you can tell that a quart has four quarts. At the same time, if we take only one quart, a quart has two pints. So these orange that you see. Each pint has two cups. Each cup has at the, at the same time uh, eight fluid ounces. So here you can see a zoom of the fluid ounces. The big P's are actually two tablespoons and at the same time every tablespoon has three teaspoons or little spoons so here we can see this chart and now in this way we're going to do some examples of conversion of units in the customary system the same as uh, in the metric system we can use conversion factors we can use uh, very usually you know, conversion factors in the metric system because we just move this not point to the right or to the left. In this case I want to convert 5 feet and 6 inches into inches. So I'm going to take, this one is already in inches, so I have to add this plus the equivalent of 5 foot, 5 feet in inches. So 1 foot is the equivalent factor, 1 foot is 12 inches, so 5 feet is how many inches here remember how to solve a proportion the one that is in diagonal from the unknown quantity device so i can find here that s is divided by one foot and then i multiply five feet times 12 inches here i can cancel out feet and my resulting units are going to be 60 inches so 60 inches that are five feet plus six are 66 inches. So this 60 plus this 6. In this case, one gallon uh, has 16 cups. Remember the chart we discussed there. Uh, here I have the, the question is 36 cups is how many gallons? In this case, 16 is going to divide. So to find x, I'm going to divide by 16 cups, and here I'm going to multiply 36 cups times 1 gallon. So I can again here cancel out cups, and then the answer would be 36 out of 16, which can be, you know, expressed in gallons. You can reduce this to a fraction in lowest terms if you want to. So I'm going to divide this by 2, which is 18 eighths then uh, I want to simplify again this is 9 fourths so 9 fourths is 2 and 1 fourth of gallon and finally here my conversion factor is that 1 pound has 16 ounces the question here is 64 ounces is how many pounds so to clear for x, I'm going to divide by the diagonal term, which is 16 ounces. And then I'm going to multiply 1 pound times 64 ounces. Here, if I simplify the units, I can cancel out, I'm sorry, I can cancel out ounces with ounces and the resulting units will be pounds. So 64 divided 16 for 